Back in the days when I was young, I'm not a kid anymore. But some days I sit and What's going on world? I'm your host George Kill and we're here in Boca Raton with three chicks with kicks. No really, three chicks with kicks. Ladies, introduce yourselves. Ariana. Dresden. Dakota. Specifically girls, what are, what are we actually gonna see here? We're gonna see a pretty large sneaker collection, right? It's all right. I think they'll have to see for themselves. Modesty, <laughs> modesty. Let's check it out. Okay, ladies, before we get into the main room or court, tell us what we're seeing here. So we call this room the vestibule. <laughs> and um, our family's from Brooklyn, and George rightfully noticed our handmade, one-of-a-kind Brooklyn <laughs> chandelier made out of the Brooklyn Nike Air Force Ones. We have a lot of heat gear. We're big heat fans. Hope we don't offend anyone. Each game, we would bring a shoe to, and the opposing team would sign them. People probably looking at this saying like those shoes cannot fit uh, those ladies so kind of talk about how you kind of inherited what was once your dad's. First of all those shoes do fit me. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, so our father started the collection over 25 years ago and about five years ago he kind of handed it down to us. We took it over and we've been expanding and adding to the collection and we really appreciate shoes as an art form and the rest is history I guess. Okay, first off, no offense to the other people we've done, but this is actually much easier for us to show. How did you guys section this off? Well, we tried to make it as easy as possible. We have a really diverse collection. We really wanted to display that by showing each brand separately. So this is our one of my favorite section. This is the Jordans 1985 AJ1s. We have about 300 pair, but this is just a little taste of our collection. We keep them in the box in a warehouse, air conditioned. These are from the late 80s, and Nike um, experimented with moving the Jordan logo on these for the first time. One of the biggest things about our Jordan collection is we really like PEs, or player exclusives. So we'll point out the three pairs with the Loyal One are Derek Anderson PEs. And also we have a couple Josh Howard PEs over there. Another Dallas Maverick. We have a couple Michael Finley right there. And then we have some Mike Bibby player editions when he played for the Sacramento Kings. This is an Air Jordan 2. As you can see, it doesn't have the red stamp. These are some look-see sample Jordan mules. We would be here all day if we showed you our whole entire Jordan collection, but over here we have our vintage Nike running shoes. I'm sure many of you have seen Forrest Gump. These are the shoes he wore in the movie. And then you guys even have a kid's version? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pretty cool. One of my favorites is the Mark Parker shoe that he gave us. Um, a lot of people get excited when like a famous person, as in Kanye or a famous basketball person, gives them a shoe and I get really excited because the CEO of Nike, Mark Parker, gave us this shoe. And then right next to those, we have the Nike Footscapes. Steve Smith, a designer for Reebok and for Nike, had these made. They were cheap trick colors. They are Coraline samples. All right, these are my personal favorite because I'm a big fan of the Sex and the City movie. These were released just for the cast and crew of the first movie. These are the TEDx running shoes made for the TED Talks. They hide them during the talks and I guess people search for them. We also have many other vintage running sneakers from the early 80s in pristine condition. Over here we have some vintage Ohio State running shoes, size 15 and a half. I'm not sure how they fit into the running section, but these are some Tom Brady Players Edition cleats. And then we have some Michael Vicks. So as you can see, we have a lot of vintage Nike runners. A lot of them are wear test samples, look-see samples. And we have a lot of the tags still on them. So this is our vintage Adidas section, a lot of them dating back to the 70s and eight, early 80s. I'll pick up a few. Here we have an Intelli Adidas basketball shoe. Here's some vintage Stan Smiths. These are original Adidas superstars, even before Run DMC. Over here we have some Adidas Top 10s, and then here we got some Adidas Micro Pacers. And this is a very exclusive section of our Adidas collection, and they're gonna take you over to the first pairs. These are the Muhammad Ali Adidas. These were made in 2006. Um, this one has some of his famous quotes, such as, 
um, float like a butterfly, sting, sting like, like a bee. bee. Over here we have some All Stars made for KG. I believe it was the 2009 All Star game. And then we'll go right over to the Andrew Wiggins Player Editions. They were made even before he was drafted, so you can see there's no soul. Right here we have some Gucci colored Derek Roses. This one was made for the public, so it has a smaller ankle strap. This was made for the players, so it's a thicker ankle strap. We have a ton of other development samples, such as Dwight Howard, Derek Fisher, and Josh Smith. And this is a Crazy 97 made out of horse hair. Now ladies, on to what I think is the biggest part of your collection. You guys are really big in the Air Force One. Yes, the fun stuff. This is a lot of the really exclusive pairs of Air Force Ones, very rare, some one of a kind. We can start off over here. Um, we have a bunch of pairs of this LA Air Force One. It was produced and in pre-production they noticed that the LA was inverted so they had to stop production. When LeBron James was on SNL, they made him a pair of Air Force Ones. These are his size. And for the rest of the crew, they gave these. Everyone knows the PlayStations. And in the front, we have the Fat Joe Terra Squad, these three pairs. These are the Houston All-Stars. These are the Raygun prototypes. It's the first time Nike used the dunk shoe and used the Air Force bottom. And then this is a really rare pair, Air Force One, the music box. These are the Busy Peas. And here we've got two pairs of stash, signed and lasered on. Got these vibes. And then we have the cause. And then right here we have the Jay-Z's, and they say the 4040 Club. These are some exclusive Kobe Air Force Ones. The two right here. Here we have the Questlove, two pairs, and this one's inverted colors. This is one of a personal favorite, the Anacondas. Has the solid gold here. Here's the Crocs. And these are the Sandy Bodeckers. Over here we have two pairs, the Sean Marion Matrix. This number on the back. And then we have a Holy Grail pair, which is the Jay-Z. It's a set. We have three of the five. They're the all black everythings. It says one of only two pairs produced. Here's some other rare pairs. These are also a set. We have two of them. These are the beautiful losers. It was a documentary that was filmed and they put scenes from the actual documentary on the shoes. One of one on the tongue. Here's our Reebok section. Quick overview, we have some Allen Iverson players editions. We even have one signed by Allen Iverson. We also have some single Reebok CFD manufacturing samples. These are the Bucks, the Jazz, the Sixers, the Spurs, and the Kings. Now, Ariana, we're actually about to get into my favorite section. I'm a very big Nike basketball PE um, guy, and I'm seeing some really good ones over here. So these are a lot of samples, player editions, Nike basketball. Um, I could go over a few of them. These are the Mogadis. L Smooth. And then we have a few Iggy Player exclusive samples when he played for the 76ers. There, there, and there. And even though we're huge Miami Heat fans, here's a Dennis Scott Orlando Magic Player exclusive. Here's a Derek Fisher. And we also have an original pair of Nike shocks worn by Vince Carter. Okay, so we went over some of the vintage Nike runnings. This is another vintage Nike section. Um, we've got a bunch of different models, lows, highs from late 70s, early 80s. These are original late 70s blazers, brand new. Here's a vintage woman's basketball shoe. Woman's Air Commitment, it was called. And over here we have some Hyperflights. Here's an original promo sample of Air Raids. Here's an original pair of Air Super Zoom Ds. Here's the tag on there, pre-CFM samples. So we'll move on to more current times. We've got our some of our LeBrons over here. I believe some of them even from when he used to play for Miami. 
And I'll just show you a few pairs. And these are actual LeBron sizes. Yes. James on the back. Here we got a pair of LeBron 2s. Here's some LeBron IDs. They say Fresh Prince on them. Summit Lake. So moving on to our Converse section. A lot of people don't really collect Converse, but we've got some really rare pairs. Here's a Julius Irving, Dr. J. That's an original pair. And then we've got the baby Dr. J's. And then this is an interesting pair over here. They're called, if you can't beat them, join them. They're fitting samples. So they've got all the brands on here. Nike, Converse, Shaq, Hurley. We also have a ton of Converse One Star. Like here and all along here. Here's our Puma section. Here's a vintage Puma RS computer in it. We have a bunch of Puma Clydes. And then we even have some Pumas made for Ralph Sampson, I know. George would know all about that. He's a Houstonian. And here's some of our vintage Puma. You could tell the condition is pretty crazy. Getting into some pretty rare stuff. We have some promo sneakers made for Manny Pacquiao. We have some red ones and black ones. This section is some of the rarest sneakers we have. These are the rarest Roches. They were actually auctioned off at the Dornbacher Hospital. This is the first year of the Air Force signed by Michael Thompson, Clay Thompson's dad. He was one of the original endorsers of the Air Force One. These are the original Air Maxes from 1987. They're in pretty good condition as you can see. And these were made for punters in the 80s. If you see here, they have a square in the front, which is different. Here's the first ever Jordan and SB collaboration. In the box, there's a piece of the bowls floor. And then over here, we have a very rare pair called the AKA As Known As, made to celebrate and commemorate graffiti artists. Here's a very rare pair, the Clots. You can see the special packaging comes in this box. It comes with the laces. All silk. All right, so I'm not a huge Snapchat person, but supposedly these are major key. These are the Fat Joe original Crocs. DJ Khaled doesn't want us to have these, does he, George? They don't want, they don't want <laughs> to have those. Okay, so for the 25th anniversary, they made some Air Forces with players on them. And they toyed around with players. They had Mono Ginobili. And I believe these are the Tony Parkers. And they didn't make the cut, but we have them. Before they offered the fully cork shoes on Nike ID, they made samples. These were made by Reebok, Sean Carter, which is Jay-Z. And this is from the College Dropout album. And this is the full set, made especially for Kanye West, custom made. This is my particular favorite pair. It's a cool colorway. All right, everyone knows about these. These are the entourages from the HBO series Entourage. And then from the most recent movie, these were made for the cast and crew. And so the Beastie Boys are from Brooklyn, New York, which like we said, we're big Brooklyn fans because our family's from there. And these are actually exclusive pairs, Adidas superstars made for each member of the Beastie Boys. All right, so one of our favorite collaborations ever is anything that Jeremy Scott does. We really appreciate his work and we have some regular releases and some samples and prototypes. These ones were particularly never released. Here's another pair signed by ASAP Rocky. Okay, this is our baby section. We have a few vintage pairs. These are 1989 Jordans. We have some 85 AJ1s. We have some itty bitty ones and tin containers. <laughs> These are some baby Kobe's. So this is a pretty interesting section. Um, for us, it's more than just sneakers. It's the art of the sneaker. It's what goes into making sneakers. So here are some United States patents, original patents. Some for soles. As we come to a little bit of a close, we'd be here all day if we spoke about every Air Force, but we do have the City Series, the Holiday Editions, some player-exclusive player editions. If you could name it, it's probably here. 
Well, Chicks with Kicks, thank you for letting us check out one of the most amazing, massive collections that I've ever seen. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Yeah, and I'm sure you guys are going to keep adding up to it, right? Definitely. Right. Sure.